So let's make some space here and I'm going to close both panels and in our view did load function we are going to do the setup. In order to keep my view did load function as small and clean as possible instead of putting all the code here what I'm going to do is to write the function separately and just call it in my view did load. So I put the mark call it uh, setup Let's create a private function and call this setup backgrounds. Okay, and in our view did load we can say setup backgrounds. So in our setup backgrounds we need to change the background and corner radius of our profile cell background view. So we say profile cell background view dot clips to bounds says boolean value that determines whether the sub views are con confined to the bounds of the view and here we are going to set this to true so the sub views will clip to the view bounds then we are going to again say profile background view dot layer we access the top layer and then we get the corner radius and this is going to be equal to 100 so it makes a nice big curve on the corner and if we run the application now you will see that this adds this corner radius on all the corners but what we want to do is don't touch the top corners and instead do the bottom left and the right corners only so if we go here, check it out, you can see it added this corner radius everywhere. So now we want to stop this happening on the top. So how to do that? We're going to say profile view controller background dot layer dot mask corners. And this is taking an array of results. So you can say dot layer max x and max y corner and for you just to get an idea um, the coordinate system in iOS works in following way the x 0 and y 0 coordinate is on top left corner so the maximum y is at the bottom here and maximum x is on the right side of the view so by saying that we want the maximum x which is here and maximum y which is at the bottom here so we want to apply it on this corner and the other one you may have guessed is we want to have maximum y but we want to have a minimum x so this is the minimum x and maximum y so we have max x max y corner and then we have dot layer and we want a minimum x so min x and min x max y corner so if I rerun now you should see that the corner radius applies only to the bottom corners you see uh, the other thing we need to do here is to add this about me corners as well. So let's do that. We say about me text view dot layer dot corner radius is equals to 10. Unlike the top, here we want to have all around corners. So let's run. All right, you see, we did it correct, but uh, we applied it to the wrong view. We actually uh, applied it to the text view. 
and if I'm not mistaken, we didn't connect this gray view. So let's uh, let's do that. I'm going to go to my main storyboard and let's connect this to the code as well. So assistant editor. And let's do this on the top where the other views are. And make sure you select it. The best thing is to select on the left side here. Control drag and call this about me view. Close this, go to profile view. And let's just fix this here. And say about me view not about me text view and get rid of this so rerunning the application to make sure everything is set correctly now you can see that this gray area has round edges now so let's uh, change the background of our gray area so it's gonna be white so that visually it feels like part of the text view and uh, the background of our cell the content view is going to be the same as we have here on top so uh, main storyboard we have selected this background view from light gray I'm going to set it to white and the content view, we are going to set the background color to uh, this custom. And let's choose this second one from our pencils. Just uh, let's do the same for the other cells. So in section three, content view, I'm going to set this to custom again mercury pencil and here uh, let's see first of all how it looks and then we will proceed and do the rest Don't pay attention to these sections part because this has a different color. We are going to get rid of them and replace with the same gray out. So you can see the about me area is nicely rounded and stands out. And then this uh, section three is also standing out the title, but we still need to fix this, uh, the background of the other cells. So. Um, let's select the other cell. This is the cell number two. And let's change the background to be clear color. Let's see what this will give us. Cell number two and cell number three background clear color and a rerun. So this didn't change anything. Now we need to change the cell background itself. So currently it's set to clear and uh, what we want is custom Mercury. And you can see visually we are getting somewhere. And this table view background custom Mercury. And let's run again. Now you can see it's nice and around what we needed. And you can, I don't know if you can see, but uh, these uh, separators uh, is something that we don't really want because the, they are not part of our uh, UI. So what we can do is select our table view. At the top here, we have separator, which is default, and I'm going to set it to none. So my table view will not have any separator. And let's scroll down to our uh, section four. 
and we're going to do the same thing here um, this is our cell number one background color we set to custom mercury and same goes for the rest background I think we can use this recent one here yeah so we don't have to select it from there we can just use the recent color just make sure you are selecting the cell itself and not the the view inside of it right and let's rerun I'm going to close this one here let's see how this looks yep more or less it looks good so the other thing now we need to do is get rid of this section titles and also it's good to set the background of our table view you see when we drag out extra it's a bit different color than the gray we are using the same if we do on the top so select the table view background says default so let's change this to the same color as we have and let's try it now again So now when I drag it down or up you can see there is no difference in the background so final thing for this lecture is getting rid of these section titles and in order to do that we are going to implement some delegate functions of our table view and let's just put it here say table view and we need to get the height for uh, header so you can just scroll down and get like height for header in section and this returns a CG float so it depending what height you want what we want to do is say return zero so we don't want to have any height and if I rerun go here and I see there is no sections anymore and everything is set nicely when I scroll up and down the colors are exactly the same and the visual interface looks much much better right now